Jason Newland.com This is Deep Sleep Whisper Hypnosis and please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. Also please share this mp3 podcast or video to let others or to annoy others if you like and if you're watching on YouTube please subscribe so I'm just sitting on the edge of my bed in my bedroom I probably could have just left it without saying bedroom because I said bed but the fact is I've lived in many rooms that were my bedroom and my living space as well Jason, that's the same with farts. Not all farts are the same. Yeah, but I wasn't planning to compare these sessions with farting. But I think it gives the sense of some old, stale, repetitive recording. There's something that continues. So you 
believe that when you listen to the very first of these deep sleep sessions, you can see the connection, you can feel that continuum of energy moving through. sensation of continuous feelings of relaxation growing and it's as if each layer of clothing which is now becoming less and less and less you to feel so much more loose and light no longer pinned down to the floor by the heaviness and the weight of all of that 
gift did you have? What other emotions did you have that you've just let go of? You've just dropped them to the floor. You've said no. No thanks. Don't need you. You can stay on the floor. I'm just going to go to sleep. I'm going to relax. I don't need you. You know, I thought about getting myself a piece of card and laminating it. And uh, on one side of it, writing something like how does this help me how does this help me so if there's a, an emotion that I've got or if I'm angry at somebody or if somebody says something to me, some advice, you know, whatever it is that's, uh, that I'm reacting to, let's say, I pick out my little piece of a laminated card. How does this help? says drop it to the floor or let it drop to the floor how does this help me thinking about the past thinking about an argument when actually all I want to do is sleep well it's not helping Flip that card over in your mind. Let it drop to the floor. Or you can be more creative with your wording. concerned about and remember that not only are you perhaps thinking about the thing but you've got that laminated card always ready to flip out and just say thing when I'm lying down wanting to go to sleep to relax to feel comfortable to let go how is thinking about this thing helping me how's it helping me and if you can't think of a reason thinking about it, can I help you? 
just say whatever juicy words you have put on the back of that laminated card. It could be go away, drop it to the floor, let it drop to the floor. You could put just be gone now. You could put your own words. Another example, you could be lying there thinking about a doctor's appointment you've got tomorrow or in a couple of days' time. And yeah, it could be an important thing. But how is thinking about that helping you sleep? How is it helping you thinking about that? How is it helping you? How is it helping me? You can flip that over. Say bye bye. Be gone. Drop to the floor. There's a part of our minds that think, well, we've got to keep thinking about something or we might forget about the important event. Well, if you got a, if you got an elephant, right, and forget about the, the dynamics of getting the elephant into your room, if an elephant did a big poo on the floor at the side of your bed okay just before you went to sleep and it was a, it was a really nice like a, a non-smelly one so it's not going to affect your sleeping I probably shouldn't have mentioned this now we're talking about sleeping when you wake up in the morning, do you think that poo is still going to be there or not? Yes, it will still be there and you will step in it and it will be a lovely start to the day. In the same way that any worries you have will still be there as far as anything that you've been worrying about. The actual event is still going to be there the going to work the job interview the reality so you don't need that worrying or that thinking about it if just going to sleep changes reality then I probably spend my entire life asleep So you don't need to be concerned. You don't need to spend time in bed thinking about stuff. Apart from anything that's boring. Going to sleep is an opportunity to think about nice things. To have a creative experience. escapism really so the next time you're lying in bed and there's something nagging at you picking away trying to get your attention ask yourself pick out that card, that laminated card in your mind how is this helping me or you can add to sleep how is this helping me to sleep now if you're thinking about winning the lottery and all the different people that you help then maybe you want to continue thinking about that 
because that's a nice thought, you know, and that might lead you into a nice sleep. So it's not about switching off all thinking, because that's not going to be that's not going to happen. It's okay to think. It means that you're alive. But things do slow down as you get closer to being into a deep sleep. But things only get, they slow down on the awake side. Your brain is still active when you're asleep. for your sleepy brain to deal with all we're dealing with here is that that little bridge between being awake and being asleep once you're on the other side of the bridge there's nothing to be done nothing needed in the same way to the other side of the bridge you don't need anything to help you to be awake usually but you know that point maybe well for me I wake up usually at least once during the night to go to the toilet what a lovely interesting fact I know I'll get up do what I've got to do, come back, and I'll fall back asleep very, very quickly. So that's like a, it's as if the bridge becomes shorter. So maybe it isn't a case of us having to walk across the bridge or travel across the bridge. It's as if the bridge shorter and that distance between being awake and being asleep is less and less with every passing second and then you're just there 